वेलकम टू बंगो शिक्षा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द पार्लियामेंट्री सिस्टम सो द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया हैज एडॉप्टेड अ पार्लियामेंट्री फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट बोथ एट द सेंटर एंड इन द स्टेट्स सो दैट आर्टिकल 74 एंड 75 deal with the parliamentary form of the government at the center and article 163 and 164 deal with the parliamentary provisions of governments in the states now the modern democratic governments are classified into uh, two broad heads the parliamentary form of government and the presidential form of government on the uh, basis of the relationship between the executive and the legislature you know that governments there are three wings of the government the executive the judiciary and the legislative so here on the basis of the executive and the legislature the relationship the modern democratic government can be classified into two categories the presidential form of government and the parliamentary form of government the parliamentary system of government is the one in which uh, the um, uh, executive is responsible to the uh, legislature so that is the main thing on the other hand in the presidential form of government the um, executive is constitutionally independent he is not accountable to the legislature Uh, so in the parliamentary system of government the executive uh, means that is the cabinet ministers they are responsible for all their acts and omissions to the lok sabha so uh, later on i will discuss that the lok sabha by passing the no confidence motion can dismiss the government the ruling party in power so uh, that is the main thing what you have to know and uh, in the case of the presidential form of government the, pres the executive is totally uh, mani constitutionally he is independent uh, for the term of the office and he is not accountable for all its acts and policies to the legislature the parliamentary government is also known as the uh, cabinet government or uh, the um, um, uh, responsible government and the westminster model of the government which is prevalent in uh, britain uh, india um, then uh, canada japan uh, among others and the presidential form of the government is known as the non responsible government non parliamentary government and the um, uh, executive system of the fixed executive system of the government which is most prevalent in the uh, usa brazil sri lanka russia among others so uh, political scientist ivor jennings called the parliamentary uh, system as the cabinet system why because the cabinet is the uh, nucleus power in the um, parliamentary uh, system the parliamentary government is also known as the responsible government because the executive that is the cabinet that is the real executive they are the responsible the cabinet is responsible to the legislature for all their acts of omissions and commissions so uh, and um, the executive uh, that is the cabinet will be um, uh, will can enjoy their power or they can stay in power so long it enjoys the latter's confidence uh, so um, uh, that is the latter's confidence means the confidence of the legislature the confidence of the lok sabha so that is the main thing and it is uh, sometimes called as the westminster model of the government after the location of the uh, parliament british parliament where the parliamentary system originated so next i will discuss the features of the parliamentary government what are the salient features of a parliamentary form of government so nominal and the real executive here the distinction we can find that in a parliamentary system of government there is the head of the state and the head of the government now i will discuss what is the head of the state and what is the head of the government the president is the nominal executive head or the de jure uh, executive means he is a mere rubber stamp he is the nominal executive head and the prime minister is the real executive or the de facto uh, uh, executive um, head uh, because uh, he is the actual man who takes all the decisions all the policies everything thus the president is the head of the state and the prime minister is the head of the government so here is the difference that uh, president is the head of the state and prime minister is the head of the um, government 
so article 74 as i told in the beginning that article 74 uh, uh, deals with the council of ministers headed by the prime minister to aid and advise the president so that he can uh, smoothly uh, fulfill all his uh, duties he can uh, fulfill his functionaries uh, so that is the uh, thing he all the functions mm, and the advice so rendered by the council of ministers is binding upon the uh, president uh, next, the majority party rule. Uh, so, the uh, political party uh, who secures absolute majority in the Lok Sabha will form the party in power or will form the government and the leader of that particular party will be appointed as the Prime Minister by the President of India and the other ministers, Council of Ministers will be appointed by the President on the advice of the Prime Minister. In case if there is uh, no power, uh, no political party who secures absolute majority, then the head of the state is invited to form a coalition government which is also known as the Hong Parliament. So, collective responsibility, uh, next uh, point that is the collective responsibility. This is very, very important, collective responsibility of the Council of Ministers because collective responsibility here is the bedrock principle of the um, uh, parliamentary system of the government because the Council of Ministers act together, swim together and sink together. They are responsible to the uh, Lok Sabha collectively. Uh, in, uh, um, in looks to the Lok Sabha in particular and to the parliament in general article 75 so uh, the principle of the collective responsibility um, uh, implies that the Lok Sabha can dismiss uh, not any particular minister can dismiss the entire ministry the entire ruling party by passing a no confidence motion that is the main thing that if anything happens uh, so the whole ministry including the prime minister has to resign so this is the uh, beauty of this collective responsibility here under the uh, uh, parliamentary system of government. Next, political homogeneity. Political homogeneity means since uh, um, uh, the party who uh, have secured the absolute majority in the Lok Sabha, all the members of that particular party from the uh, same political uh, party. So it is very obvious they, that they will share the common ideology. Uh, so in case of the coalition government, the um, uh, when uh, there is a case of scenario of coalition government, they the ministers are bound by the consensus. So, what is the meaning of the consensus? That is, when Bangladesh is told that the Dara is a Shadharanoto, Gurhito, Mane Motobad, Bashid Tanto, Chita Shorbo Shomotik Romeneva. Shadharan is Shitanta Dara, Tadaketokon coalition governmental ketra, minister bound. Tadaketokon Shivabi follow Kutta, current coalition governmental ketra, one of particular actor party absolute majority by voting Chita Tara Asheni. To Shekhani Tadu Shomushata Thake, ministers are bound by the consensus in case of the coalition government eti ekti sadharonoto mane sarbojon sammoto siddhanto ba motobad motamot ei byapar ta next double membership the ministers are uh, members of both the legislature and the executive at the same time uh, this means the uh, a person who is a member of the um, uh, who is a minister without being a member of the parliament he has to be a member of the parliament uh, for a, uh, within money he can uh, continue as a minister uh, for a maximum period of six months after that he ceases to be a minister mane take ekhi shonge take member hote hobe both executive and legislature seta kintu double membership je prottekta minister tara ekhi shonge tara executive ebong tara member of the legislature also leadership of the prime minister here the prime minister plays the role of the party in power the leader of the party in power the leader of the council of ministers the leader of the parliament so in this capacity he plays a very crucial role, a very significant role uh, uh, to um, 
मैंने अ मेजर कैरिशमेटिक रोल वी कैन से सो डिसोल्यूशन ऑफ द लोकसभा दैट इज वॉट दैट द लोकसभा कैन बी डिजोल्व बाय द प्रेसिडेंट ऑन द एडवाइस ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर द प्राइम मिनिस्टर कैन एडवाइज द प्रेसिडेंट फॉर द डिसोल्यूशन ऑफ द लोकसभा बिफोर द एक्सपायरी ऑफ इट्स टर्म एंड कॉल फॉर फ्रेश इलेक्शन मैंने लोकसभा जो एक साधारण जो स्पैन थे फाइव इयार्स पर इलेक्शनगुलो है तर आगे जदि प्राइम मिनिस्टर मन कर प्रेसिडेंट के सिद्धान दीते लोकसभा डिजल्व कर देवा हूँ एक क्षेत्र में क्योंकि आप देखते जे एक्सिक्यूटिव एनजयज द रट टू गेट द लेजिसलेचर डिजल्व इन अ पार्लामेंटरि सिसटेम सो दिस इज एनदार एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट और द लास्ट फीचर अफ द पार्लामेंटरि फर्म अफ गवर्नमेंट दैट इज द सिक्रेसि दफिस द ओथ अफ सिक्रेसि अफ द मिनिस्टार्स इट एज एडमिनिस्ट्रेड बै द प्रेसिडेंट एंड दे कैनट डाइज एनी अफ द प्रसिडिंगस दे आर डिसिशन्स दे उल नट डिसक्लोज policies that is the oath of the secrecy that they will maintain on sort of uh, privacy or sort of secrecy regarding their discussions regarding their policies so this is the another beauty of the parliamentary form of the government uh, next that merits of the parliamentary uh, system the parliamentary system of government uh, has the following merits which i am now going to discuss that harmony between the legislature and the executive uh, the greatest advantage of the uh, parliamentary system is the, is that it ensures the harmonious relationship peaceful uh, exist peaceful uh, cooperation between the executive and the legislature because both are interdependent at their working what i told that a member who is a minister he is uh, he has to be a member of the uh, legislature so that is the main thing the executive is a part of the legislature and both are interdependent at work hence there is obviously the less possibility of conflicts or disputes um, between the two organs next responsible government so responsible government that by its very nature the parliamentary system establishes a responsible government by its uh, very nature the ministers are uh, responsible to the uh, parliament for all their acts of omissions and uh, commissions here the acts of omission occur when individuals initiate some course of action in contrast uh, in some instances uh, that workers decide to not take any proactive steps to resolve any ethical uh, dilemma acts of the omission so this is the meaning of the acts of omission and commission सो मैं जख तारा एक क्च करार सिद्धान निच्चे जे इनिशिएट कर जो तरा एक डिलेमार मध्य आज करते क्च करार सिद्धान निच्चना से मिशन एंड कमिशन मैं दोटो क्योंकि कन्ट्रोडिक्टरि द पार्लामेंट एम हाव द several measures or devices uh, to exercise its control over the ministers what are those that question our adjournment motion no confidence motion and uh, discussions so um, the executive is uh, responsible that is why it is called the responsible government for all their acts of omission and commission next that prevents despotism under this uh, system the authority is um, um, uh, distributed among the ministers council of ministers of the um, cabinet so not in a single person so here is the less chance for the executive to become despotic leader to become a despotic ruler uh, then the ready alternative government in case the ruling party uh, loses its majority uh, in case the ruling party loses its majority the head of the uh, state i mean the president the head of the state as i told that head of the government is the prime minister and the head of the president is uh, head of the state is the president so head of the state can invite uh, the leader of the opposition parties to form the government that is why iver jennings dr jennings says that the leader of the opposition who is 
is the leader of the opposition, is the alternative prime minister. Because uh, if for any reasons that the ruling party um, has to resign, uh, so in that circumstance, without calling fresh election, the um, president or the head of the state can invite the leader of the opposition to form the government. That is why the leader of the opposition, in the words of the Ivor Jennings, is the alternative prime minister. Uh, next, that white representation. White representation means in a, a collective, um, uh, in the parliamentary system, the executive uh, consists of a group of uh, means uh, individuals, that is a number of the people, uh, that is council of ministers or the cabinet ministers. They uh, represent the different sects, different castes, different religions from the different um, uh, nook and corner of the society. Um, uh, uh, they are acting as the representatives of the people. Hence, it is uh, possible to uh, represent um, uh, the all sections, regions, uh, all sects in this government widely. So that is why uh, through the parliamentary system, the wide representation is possible. Next, demerits of the um, parliamentary uh, system. What are the demerits that unstable government? The parliamentary uh, system does not uh, provide a stable uh, government. Uh, that is that any time, as I told, that uh, if the Lok Sabha passes a no confidence motion that um, um, which make the government unstable. Mm, so that the ruling party, the council of ministers uh, as a whole, because of the principle of the collective responsibility, they have to resign. Uh, the cabinet has to resign. The ministers, um, so the ministers depend on the mercy of the majority legislators for their continuity and survival in office. This is very important. The parliamentary system does not uh, provide a stable government. There is no guarantee, no assurance that the government will um, um, exist uh, till the expiry of its term. Because at any time, if the Lok Sabha passes an open confidence motion, then the whole ministry has to um, resign. Uh, so, uh, what I was discussing that uh, no uh, co many, um, continuity of the policies, the parliamentary system is not at all conducted for the implementation or for the formulation of the uh, any long term policies because there is no stability, there is no assurance that the um, government will uh, exist uh, before the expi till the expiry of its uh, term. Uh, and the, due to this uncertainty, it is not advisable for the parliamentary system of government to formulate or implement any long-term policies. Mm, uh, like in the unstable government, we have seen a lot of examples like Moranji Deshai government, Debe Goura government, I.K. Gustral government, uh, Chandra Shekhar um, Ch um, government and uh, um, uh, V.P. Singh government, that they are some examples um, of the unstable government. Uh, so that is another point. Next, uh, dictatorship of the cabinet. Mm, uh, it, it, this is another uh, demerit we can say that um, here in the parliamentary system, the executive almost enjoys unlimited power. So there is every possibility for the executive to become um, uh, despotic because they, the ruling party enjoys the absolute majority in the um, parliament. Um, and hence it is possible for them to uh, give importance only their own uh, money, their leader, the leader of that party uh, to become despotic uh, and uh, dictatorship of the cab uh, dictatorship of the cabinet may arise due to this type of um, parliamentary uh, ruling party, the majority of the ruling party. So uh, this is, these are all the reasons that uh, Tim edits. Next, I'm uh, going to discuss that uh, till we have discussed, we know that there are so many Tim edits, lot of uh, um, medits are there and lot of demerits are there. Mani upokarita ho chilo kama chhe, upokarita ho chilo kama chhe. Parliamentary form of government er khetre upokarita gulo chhe gulo amra uh, bollam. Uh, she jinish gulo thake chhe rokom. Jodi hot kore ekta government uh, pura jaye, ta kono shonge shonge uh, head of the state, president, tini kintu amontron jana the parin chhe leader of the opposition, je to form the government without a fresh election. Uh, uh, so she tharone shubida gulo thake chhe. It a responsible government, because it is responsible to the Lok Sabha and to the Parliament in general. Mm. 
লেজিসলেচার এবং এক্সিকিউটিভ উইং অফ দ্য গভর্নমেন্টের মধ্যে একটা পিসফুল রিলেশনশিপ থাকে একটা কো এক্সিস্টেন্স থাকে একটা কোঅপারেশন থাকে দে অ্যাক্ট টুগেদার তারপরে যেটা যেহেতু এখানে ডিসপটিজমের চান্সটা কম থাকে তো এই ধরনের সুবিধাগুলো থাকছে আবার তার সঙ্গে অনেক অসুবিধাও থাকছে যেরকম রুলিং মেজরিটি পার্টি তারা যেহেতু এখানে ম্যাক্সিমাম ভোটটা তারা পেয়ে আসছে সুতরাং সেখানে এভরি পসিবিলিটি থাকে যে সে লিডারের পক্ষে টু বিকাম ডিসপটিক এটা এবং যেহেতু এখানে লোকসভা অনেক ক্ষেত্রে ডিসাইড করে যে নো কনফিডেন্স মোশন তখন পুরো মিনিস্ট্রিটা ফল করে যেতে পারে সুতরাং এই গভর্নমেন্টটা স্টেবল গভর্নমেন্ট না ইন দ্যাট সেন্স এবং সেদিক থেকে আরেকটা তার সঙ্গে তখন চলে আসে যেটা ডিমেরিটস বা উপকারিতা বলতে পারি যে সেক্ষেত্রে এই ধরনের গভর্নমেন্টের পক্ষে এটা মানে যুক্তিসঙ্গত হবে না কোনো লং টার্ম পলিসিটাকে ইমপ্লিমেন্ট করা কারণ সেখানে কোনো স্টেবিলিটি নেই সুতরাং হুট করে যদি গভর্নমেন্ট পড়ে যায় যেরকম আমরা দেখেছি যে মোরারজি দেশাই গভর্নমেন্ট আই কে ঘোষাল গভর্নমেন্ট দেবে গৌড়া গভর্নমেন্ট এইসব গভর্নমেন্টের ক্ষেত্রে আমরা এই সব মানে সমস্যাগুলো আমরা দেখেছি এবং ফিল করেছি তো সেই জিনিসটা আমরা এখানে দেখছি আর আরেকটা যেটা প্রবলেম থাকছে সেখানে হচ্ছে যে এগেনস্ট সেপারেশন অফ পাওয়ার্স ইন দ্য পার্লামেন্টারি সিস্টেম দ্য এক্সিকিউটিভ অ্যান্ড লেজিসলেটিভ আর মানে ইন্টারটোয়েন্ট উইথ ইচ আদার দে অ্যাক্ট টুগেদার সো দে আর ইন্টার ডিপেন্ডেন্ট অ্যাট দার ওয়ার্কিং হুইচ ইজ এগেনস্ট দ্য সিস্টেম অফ লেটার অ্যান্ড স্পিরিট দ্য সিস্টেম অফ দ্য থিওরি অফ দ্য সেপারেশন অফ পাওয়ার্স কারণ থিওরি অফ দ্য সেপারেশন অফ পাওয়ার্স আমরা দেখছি যে গভর্নমেন্টের তিনটে উইংসের মধ্যে ডিস্টিংশন বা ডিভিশন থাকে কিন্তু যেটা আমরা এখানে দেখতে পাচ্ছি যে সেটা কিন্তু এখানে থাকে আছে না মানে এখানে কিন্তু দুটো ইন্টারলিঙ্কড হয়ে যাচ্ছে তারা মানে ইন্টার ডিপেন্ডেন্ট ইন দ্য ফিল্ড অফ ওয়ার্কিং সো এই জিনিসটা একটা থাকছে এইবারে হচ্ছে যে কেন আমরা পার্লামেন্টারি সিস্টেমটাকে অ্যাডাপ্ট করেছি আমরা তো উপকারিতাও জানলাম অপকারিতাও জানলাম মেডিটস জানলাম যে মেডিটস জানলাম তাহলে কেন আমরা অ্যাডাপ্ট করেছি সো ফ্যামিলিয়ারিটি উইথ দ্য সিস্টেম দ্যাট দ্য মেকার্স অফ দ্য ইন্ডিয়ান কনস্টিটিউশন বা ফ্যামিলিয়ার উইথ দ্য ব্রিটিশ কনস্টিটিউশন বিকজ পার্লামেন্টারি সিস্টেম বিকজ উই know that british has adopted the parliamentary uh, government of west minister model because the india was the colony under the british rule so this is another reason next uh, uh, preference to more responsibility dr b r ambedkar pointed out that it uh, democratic executive uh, should uh, satisfy two conditions stability and uh, responsibility but unfortunately it is not possible for any device to ensure these two at the equal degree মানে কোনো এই ধরনের কোনো সিস্টেম দিয়ে প্রেসিডেন্সিয়াল পার্লামেন্টারি কোনো সিস্টেম দিয়ে এটাকে অ্যাশিওর করা যায় না যে দুটোই স্টেবিলিটি এবং রেসপন্সিবিলিটি দুটোই সমানভাবে সমানুপাতিকভাবে আমরা তারা মানে তাদের কন্ডিশনগুলো তারা জাস্টিফাই করবে এই জিনিসটা কখনোই সেভাবে বলা যায় না এবার নিড টু অ্যাভয়েড লেজিসলেটিভ এক্সিকিউটিভ কনফ্লিক্টস থ্রু দ্য পার্লামেন্টারি সিস্টেম দেয়ার ইজ দ্য লেস পসিবিলিটি অফ অ্যাভয়েডিং দ্য কনফ্লিক্টস বিটুইন দ্য লেজিসলেচার অ্যান্ড দ্য এক্সিকিউটিভ উইংস অফ দ্য গভর্নমেন্ট হোয়াট নর্মালি হ্যাপেন্স ইন কেস অফ দ্য প্রেসিডেন্সিয়াল ফর্ম অফ দ্য গভর্নমেন্ট হুইচ ইজ প্রিভালেন্ট মোস্টলি ইন ইউএসএ Uh, so and the parliamentary um, um, because at that time the constitution makers thought that since india is a newly born independent uh, state so the, it is uh, it will be quite difficult for the india uh, for an infant democracy uh, to um, adapt with all the um, uh, perpetual cleavage conflict like that only uh, so nature of the indian society another point that indian society is the most uh, complex Uh, plural um, uh, societies in the world Uh, so many heterogeneous states uh, so it is it offers greater scope for the uh, representing this through this parliamentary system the time bowl and wide representation so parliamentary system the it is possible to represent all sects all castes all religions uh, because the ministers are representing from the different sections of the society so wide representation is possible to, uh, through the tree system that is why also we have adopted the parliamentary uh, system now the um, 
distinction between the parliamentary system of the British and the Indian because India has adopted the parliamentary form of government uh, from the British uh, constitution. So what are the differences? So India has a republican uh, system of the um, parliamentary form of government whereas in Britain it is monarchical. That is in India the head of the presi uh, state president is elected but in Britain the king or queen uh, they enjoy a hereditary um, position. The British system of the parliament is uh, based on the doctrine of the sovereignty of the uh, parliament. Parliament is But in, in India, the parliament is not supreme in India. It is restricted, a uh, very uh, limited uh, role uh, due to the written constitution, due to the incorporation of the fundamental rights, due to the federal system, due to the judicial review. So uh, here parliament uh, doesn't enjoy the position of the sovereignty. In Britain, the Prime Minister uh, should be a member of the lower house, that is the house of the commons. We know that like India, um, in Britain also there are two houses, House of Lords and House of Commons. The House of Commons is the lower house and the House of Lords is the upper house. And India, the Rajya Sabha, that is the upper house and the Lok Sabha, that is the lower house. Mm, uh, so in India, the Prime Minister may be a member of the uh, any uh, either houses of the parliament. So in India, there is no particular um, standard that Prime Minister has to be a member from the uh, lower house. So he can be a member of either houses of the parliament. Usually the members of the um, uh, parliament are appointed um, uh, as the ministers um, uh, in Britain, um, but uh, in India, a person who is not a member of the parliament cannot be uh, appointed, cannot be, uh, um, can be appointed as a minister, but uh, for a period, maximum period of six months. Mm, uh, so this is another difference and the um, um, uh, shadow cabinet is the unique institution in the Britain which is uh, absent in the India. Shadow cabinet is what? That shadow cabinet is that form of cabinet uh, which is uh, running by the opposition groups to balance between the ruling party and to prepare its parties, uh, means its members um, for the future uh, ministerial office. So shadow cabinet is uh, absent in India. So this is all about the um, parliamentary system of uh, government.